Well, today, the U.S. Supreme Court voted to allow the Trump administration's military transgender ban to go into effect for now. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Bree Jackson reports on today's ruling and has reaction from members of the transgender community. Veteran Mia Mason served as Michael Mason before transitioning to a woman. She says the Trump administration's ban is a slap to the face of brave transgender men and women who want to serve. We deserve to fight and now it's just been taken away again. The Supreme Court's narrow 5-4 decision allowed the Trump administration's transgender ban to take effect. However, justices refused to rule on the constitutionality of the ban itself and will wait for lower courts to rule on that. A Pentagon spokesperson tells me the Defense Department plans to abide by its proposed policy. Officials insist it's not a ban on transgender people, but instead, decisions will be made on a case-by-case -case basis. Human rights advocates taking legal action against the administration say the high court's ruling puts the nation's security at risk. Permitting President Trump's ban to go into effect will inflict serious harms on transgender service members and on the military itself. While opponents call the Supreme Court ruling a setback, Mason says the fight isn't over. We will continue to take legal action to make sure no matter if you're a John Doe or Jane Doe, or even if you want to join into the military, you will not be banned. The Pentagon says there's still one existing national court order against the policy. So until that's resolved, changes won't happen immediately. In Washington, Bree Jackson.